sharing selfies and smiles. We got the story to start your weekend on a good note. Today is a very cool day. I'm here at the doghouse and Channel 2 News is gonna come out and interview me. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. How are you doing? Oh, my yeah, yeah, I do hug. <laughs> mess up your, oh, it's that's the other side. Yeah, okay. yeah. And this is Pete Dell. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice. All right. At that point, we did the interview. Of course, you can see we took some wave pictures because, I mean, why not? Shout out to the doghouse. Thank you for being our host. Hi. Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know who he is? I do. Know All who right. <laughs> And a small gesture with a big impact. How a local man is dedicating his time to making strangers smile. We have a sweet story for you on this Friday. That's next. Oh my, oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm vlogging right now. Hi! Hello! <laughs> Nice to, nice meet, to meet, you. meet you. This is Jess. You know we had to get a wave picture with Jess. Come on. You may have seen this next story online. A Lake County man is making headlines by doing something simple. Brandon French goes around the area introducing himself to strangers and then he takes a selfie with them waving. Watch Two's Michelle Meredith met up with the local celeb to find out why making people happy is so important. As he walks down the streets of Tavares, Brandon French seems quiet, mild-mannered, but in reality, one more. he's a social media celebrity known as right. the Wave Guy. Oh, no. Nice meeting you. Nice hey. meeting you. Nice meeting you, Brandon. Yep. Brandon takes selfies with random people and makes their day. But here's the deal. You have to wave. This is the international worldwide hand sign for human acknowledgement. Like when you see your fellow man or fellow woman walking down the street, like you wave at them. Inspired by the little wave icon on Facebook, it basically started with a selfie he took with a co-worker. Then it took off. Now he's a man in demand. Uh, oh, we have to do this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Each wave, each smile documented on Facebook, inspiring more smiles, which inspires Brandon. The paint he wears on his face is his cloak of confidence, like Superman's cape. It changes their attitude about that day. And if you can change somebody's day, you change, you could change their week, their month, just the way they wake up every day. Brandon's goal? to change Lake County, change the world with his powerful resource that doesn't cost a dime. You see him, you gotta start waving and smiling because that's what he's bringing. He's bringing that kind of kind of uh, atmosphere to Lake County here. And to happen right here in our little town, it is just so inspiring. So inspiring, there's only one way to end this story. But I like to do it like that at an angle. Oh, there oh, you go. Okay. There you go. We documented a moment of human connection. Yep. One wave at a time. One wave at a time. Let's go. <laughs> In Lake County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. <laughs> Okay, the Wave Guy is a branding designer by trade, so he has a flair for the artistic, clearly. Clearly. I mean, what a sweet story. I kind of love that. The thing that it, it does is just, it makes people happy. I know, I like that it just snaps you out of it. If you're having a bad day, you're instantly put in a better mood because how could you not be? All right, let's wave things over to meteorologist Cam Tran. Cam, how are we doing? Up we here? are hopefully not being able to wave away these thunderstorms, unfortunately. So I just finished looking at the news story. But I want to show y'all something to close this vlog out. This is where I live, okay? It's pretty much an empty apartment. This is my living room. All I have is my office area. This couch, I didn't buy this couch. And I'm trying to get rid of that couch. I don't have anything in my kitchen. I have, you know, the, the bare minimum of like silverware and things. This is an empty room over here. This would be like a guest room. I don't have anything in here. I don't use it. This is my guest bathroom, nothing in this bathroom. And then my bedroom. This is literally my bed. I don't have an actual bed. I sleep on an air mattress. Every day I wake up motivated and it has nothing to do with what I have or what I don't have. I wake up in a home where I could easily be stressed out. I'm in a place where I don't know anybody. I came down here for love. I came down here for a relationship. It didn't work out for me. I was a very heartbroken man. I was expressing that hurt through my content. So if you dig through some of my older content, you'll hear a more aggressive tone. It's because I was hurting and I needed to express. I needed to let those feelings out. I know I've always been fighting for something more than just my financial status in this world. 
And I think that's the biggest battle I've been up against is tapping into the greatness that I know is in me and taking on this world that can be so difficult to navigate. Do I be who I know I'm supposed to be or do I let the fear take over and be less of who I know I am? And in order to move like this, I have to really wake up and step on faith and make moves that are not directly connected to any amount of money. I wake up in an empty apartment. I have to see beyond my current circumstance and I have to live beyond the material world. And I wake up with a spirit of gratitude and when I go outside and I meet people, I really give that energy because I love people. I love myself, I love my dreams, and I know what I'm fighting for. And I'm really fighting to make the world better. Just let this story be an inspiration. I have no idea what the hell is happening right now. I have no idea how this is happening, especially at the rate that it's happening. I'm sitting here in an empty apartment. I have more debt than I've ever had in my life. I'm, a, I'm behind on every major bill you can think of. And I'm sitting here on my laptop, because I don't have a TV. <laughs> I don't really care to watch TV, but by myself, looking at a story about me on the Channel 2 News, major news outlet, and I could have allowed this situation to make me stress, and then I would be outside not giving off this energy. You have to see your life for the way you want it to be before it actually becomes that. There have been a lot of people speaking against the way that I'm moving, and they they would give me advice that, you know, I should be more money centered. I should think about money. But something in my spirit always tells me, no, I'm not supposed to be focusing on money. If I focus on giving value, tapping into my gift, my gifts with an S because I'm good at a lot of things. I know I'm worth a lot. And I every day I just wake up with that faith in myself that if I just be who I know I'm supposed to be, I am going to be taken care of. I'm going to have money. You have to bet on yourself. Let me be a testament to that. When you bet on yourself, it can work. And it works when it's looking like this. When it's looking like this, it can actually work for you. But if you're so focused on what you don't have, when you come home or in your relationship or whatever your situation is in life, if you're focused on what you don't have, you hinder yourself from loving and attracting everything that you want in your life. So I want y'all to be positive. I want y'all to really be appreciative for your life. Be appreciative for the things you don't have. Let it fuel you. Let it motivate you to be better. That's why I'm here. I'm full of love. I'm full of passion and my soul is on fire. That's what I've been saying for, for the longest. Like for this past month, I feel my soul is just on a different level of fire because I know the moment is now for me to step fully into who I am. And I'm just glad to be here in Lake County. I'm glad for the relationship that I was in. I still love her. Because if I didn't love her so much, I wouldn't be in this position. I wouldn't be in Lake County doing what I'm doing. I have nothing but gratitude. I have a spirit of gratitude. I'm at peace. So I, I don't want people to be angry. Let whatever anger you have inside of you go. I don't know what you're going through in your personal life, your business life. Let go of anything that's making you feel heavy and focus on the good. If you really focus on the positive, you'll understand life is a lot better than what you think it is. The world is better than what they say it is. The world is not bad. It's a beautiful place. And you get to decide the person you want to be. So just decide to love. That's it. That's all I've been doing with my life. I'm not out for anything. There's no ulterior motive. It's literally just a person waking up every day and choosing to love myself and to project the love out into the world and focus on the things that make me happy. Focus on the things I'm good at and figure out how I can help people in the process. Because you get what you give. Feed your dream. Feed the thing that's feeding you and find a way to make what makes you valuable, valuable for others. Make yourself valuable and the value will come to you.